So this environment you see here is what we call Python interpreter, which is basically a program that executes Python code. We can type our Python code in a file and give it to this interpreter, or we can type our code directly here in this interactive shell. So here we can write an expression like two plus two. In programming, an expression is a piece of code that produces a value. So here, when we add two plus two, we get a value. That is why we refer to this piece of code as an expression. So enter, we get four. Let's try a different kind of expression. Let's see if two is greater than one. We get true, which is an example of a Boolean value. You're gonna learn about these Boolean values in the next section. Now, what if we type two is greater than five? Enter, we get false. So in programming, we have true and false, which are similar to yes and no in English. Now, what if we type two is greater than, but we don't add a second value here. Just press enter. We get a syntax error. In programming, syntax means grammar. So just like we have the concept of grammar in the languages that we speak, we have the exact same concept in programming. If we write a sentence that is not grammatically correct, chances are some people may not understand that sentence. So in this example, we have this expression which is incomplete. It doesn't have the right grammar or syntax. That is why Python interpreter is complaining by returning an error. So this interactive shell is a great way to quickly experiment with a bit of Python code, but that's not how we build real world applications. To do that, we need a code editor. And that's what I'm gonna show you in the next lecture.